In this video, I will go through with you web hosting cPanel. When you register for a web hosting account, normally they will provide you with a cPanel access to control certain settings of your hosting brand. So let's go to your web hosting cPanel login. Let's type in your username and password. In your cPanel dashboard, you will see a lot of different sections like preference, mail, files, logs, security, domains, database. So you are not going to use each and every one of them. But some of the features that have over here might be useful to you. So I will go through those features with you. The first one is the email accounts. Let's say you register a domain name abc.com. So it will be better for you to uh, create a new email account like uh, contact me alias abc.com instead of having a public uh, email account at a Gmail or Hotmail. So to, to create a new email account, you just come to this session mail, click on the email accounts, type in the email that you want to have. Maybe I want to have uh, like contact me, socialmediabagin.com. So I just put a password. Then just create an account. That's all. The email account already created. It's very simple. Let's go back to the cPanel again. Under the session mail, there's another features called forwarders. So forwarders is useful when you have uh, many email accounts and you want to forward all the email accounts into one common email accounts. To add in a new forwarders, just click on the forwarders. So let's say I just click on the add forwarders. Let's say I want to redirect this email account to the that's how the new email account just I just created. And just click the add forwarders. So the forwarders already created. Next time any email sent to this email account admin exercise to increase vertical.com, it will be forward to this email address. To read the email accounts, uh, those emails for the email account that you created, you can just come to this mail session under the web mail and log in. And you can just continue, click on this read mail using this holder, squirrel or round cube. Let's go back to the cPanel again. Another useful feature is the file manager. So under this session files, click on the file managers. You can select any domain directory that you want to have. And you can actually upload or download file from here. So it's very simple. So let's say if I want to upload a picture to my this domain name, I can just click upload, browse for a files, maybe just a picture, and it will start upload. It's completed. So the file manager is like a FTP features to you. You can download and upload files to your web hosting servers. Another useful feature in the cPanel is logs. So if you want to know the statistics of your website, like how many visitors come to your website, where did they come from, AWStacks is the best place for you to check out. Just click on the AWStacks and click on the website that you want to check 
the traffic so you from the statistics here you can know how many visitors come to your website where did they come from and all other important information to you let's go back to let's go back to the C panel again okay another useful features here is the domains under the domains you can see there's a sub domains and add-on domains let me see uh, give you a simple explanation on add-on domains and subdomains. let's say you own a domain account abc.com and you register a hosting plan for abc.com so normally your hosting plan will allow you to add on uh, more domain names to your hosting accounts so if I have a second domain like efg.com I can actually add in that domain name into the same hosting plan so to do that I just click on add on domains I put in my new domain name efg dot com and put in the password and click the add domains sorry the password seems like wrong okay click on the add domain And you will have uh, this uh, new domain name efg.com uh, hosted under the same hosting plan as your domain name abc.com. But the important point here is also you need to make sure that uh, in your domain registrar in the efg.com you need to point to the same name server for this uh, hosting account. So what is the subdomains? So subdomain is useful if you want to use a website and create multiple pages on it. If you have you if you own a generic web page like uh like uh, okay let's say I have a website called productreview.com so I can have uh, hundreds of different products then I can actually create uh, for each product I create a sub pages I can create like a uh, uh, handphone dot productreviews.com or I can have tv.productreviews.com radio.productreviews.com to do that you just need to add in a subdomain to your main domain names so let's create a subdomain you click on the subdomain so let's say you, you just uh, create uh, click on the domain name that you want to have a subdomain to let's say maybe this social media but again I want to have like a, a subdomain called Facebook I just create that I have a new subdomains for this website I can just go to browse this website let's see what we have yeah this is the new page so I not yet design anything for the, web, the website but you can just set out the website or add by add in, in a new subdomains so you can have like multiple pages under one same domain names let's go back to the C panel again another useful features uh, under the domain is uh, what we call the redirects so sometimes you own a domain names and you want to redirect the domain names to a certain website this may be useful if uh, sometimes you want to just uh, re register a chip that info domain names and redirect those uh, domain names to uh, affiliate websites to do this just come to redirect click on the domain name that you want to direct so I can put this website socialmediabargain.com redirect to yahoo.com is possible so 
So just click this radio button, both with the view, the view, view, or without triple the view. Just click add. So then let's try again. If I put in this uh, social media, again.com, let's see whether, yeah, it will go to yahoo.com. So it works. Let's go back. The next one that the next important features is the uh, SQL database. Sometimes you will need to have to create a new SQL database for a WordPress website. So for the details of how to create a new MySQL database, I have another videos to show you. So you can check for the other videos. That's all for important features for C panels.